Are you looking for that amazing makeup look that will blow your mind within seconds? Well, in today's video, you guys will see that I will be transforming myself into this beautiful model right behind me. And we're going to get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe and let's enjoy. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be using INV eyeshadow palette, uh, Week of Beach. Um, it have pertains nine colors, and I'm using this lavender color as the same the same color that the model is wearing in the picture behind me. And I'm just blending out that color. I'm just filling my whole um, eye, <laughs> eyelid, my top eyelid, and I'm just uh, making sure, as you guys can see, that's the eyeshadow palette. I'm just going back and forth, blending that color so you guys can see the pigmentation and that the color is vibrant and it just shows up beautifully. So I wanted to show you guys that the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Ruby Kisses Tilt Felt Eyeliner Pen in the color black. So I usually start from the end point of my eyebrow, but today I'm going to Fill it in with the inner corner and I'm going to work my way up to the end point of my eyebrow as you guys see. So this is how I um, apply my eyeliner. It's very easy, very simple. Just take your time. Uh, don't rush. It just, it takes patience, a lot of patience. So if you want that natural, beautiful look with your makeup, take your time of drying your eyeliner on and make sure that it's even on both sides. You don't want one side bigger than the other or the line is up or down so um i would highly recommend you guys just take your time filling in the eyeliner and you will definitely have the perfect look and now my next step is i'm going to apply some more um, eyeshadow color so um now i'm going to use that lighter blue color and I'm going to do the bottom of my um eyeline eyeliner my eyelids I can't talk but I'm filling it in and I'm also mixed with some dark blue because I want it to be dark as possible so let me do a lighter blue and a dark blue eyeshadow so I add the closest blue as possible and also, you guys, don't forget to also put face primer on before you start your, doing your makeup because that helps with your um, your foundation, your concealer, so it won't look cakey. So that's a tip for you guys. So don't forget. I'm going to use my Airy Mink Lashes uh, Soft Breezy. They are very natural, very light. And I'm going to use my um, Cool Cafe Absolute New York 05 um, Foundation Concealer. I apply that under my eye and I use my e.l.f. setting spray, which is one of my favorite mists. I'm going to apply it on a brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend out that foundation and concealer. I'm lightly blending it out, as you guys can see, under my eye. So please do not just rub in that foundation and concealer. It's best to just take your time in applying so it can look very natural and also looks very good you know so you don't want to look cakey or you know all over the place so just make sure you blend in that concealer and foundation as possible and as you guys can see it looks very natural and i put some under my um eyeliner wing because i want it to look very sharp and clean cut and that is the face primer i mentioned about so it's best to put that on first and i'm showing it once again so you guys can see it so i'm blending 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 and i'm blending out that foundation and concealer because i want it to look very flawless and i know i have glue showing so don't worry i'm going to get that out the way so i'm just blending that foundation concealer around my lip area and then I'm going to put a little bit more because I want my lips to look like the breast doll. I want it to have that, now, that nice pout and look very natural. So 
So I'm going to blend it out. I did use uh, my setting spray on the brush because I want it to blend. So I'm showing the setting spray once again for you guys. The e.l.f. setting spray is one of the best ones. I'm just going back over my eyeliner because I want it to be even as possible. Because sometimes, you know, you can't mess up. One can be longer or shorter than the other. So I always go back and fill in my eyeliner to make it look very natural. Once again, that is my biggest, biggest, uh, when I do my makeup, make sure my eyebrows and my eyeliner is on point. So I'm just going back in and also filling, um, making sure that my lashes were good to make sure there was no makeup on my lashes. And now I'm going to use my F mascara, one of my favorite lashes, uh, mascara. And I'm just applying it um, on the bottom lash because I want my eyes to pop with this makeup look. And I want it to be more vibrant and everyone to like, oh, okay, I love the colors. I love the combination. So um, I wanted to make it stand out more. So that is it so far. But I still went back in with the concealer. To make sure my um, eyeliner was good because one was bigger than the other one. So like I said, just always make sure you double check. Don't rush um, yourself because makeup, it takes time and patience. And then over time, you will be better at it and it'll just be very easy to do. And I just had a little sponge and I'm blending it because I didn't want my eyeliner to be really thick. I want it to be like a medium and like kind of smooth out, like kind of thin so it kind of like faded towards the end and I didn't want it to be too much so I went back in with my uh foundation concealer and as you guys see it turned out very nice I do love this makeup look it's very beautiful it's very very beautiful um around the eye area I loved how the dark blue contrasts with the lavender it makes the eyes more um kind of dreamy and vibrant in other words but I do love it um I'm just going back in doing some finished touches uh to my makeup you guys and also I do want to say that this look is one of the best looks that I personally would have picked uh, because it looks very natural uh I can't get over it so that's it and I went back in with some more mascara because I, I really want to have my eyes, you know, to really sit out there and like, you know, okay, just look very natural. I also put some in um, my top lash in the, in the corner. I want my lashes to pop and stand out along with the makeup. In other words, that I was trying to say, and I think it did. I think I pulled off this look. And it looks very natural. Um, as you guys see, I I am a foundation and concealer crazy queen. I have to have it looking nice with my lashes. If not, it just drives me crazy. And I'm the same way with my eyebrows. If my eyebrows not right, then it's no point in me wearing makeup. But that is the biggest point, really. Really, you just need to have your eyebrows done and just throw on some lashes. You don't need a lot of makeup, but I wanted to try this um, makeup look because it's very different. And I'm going to do something very different with my looks. But um, I really hope you guys did enjoy. I enjoyed along with you guys. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube, my Instagram, and my TikTok. And I'll subscribe for more. And uh Tell me what you guys think and where are your suggestions of my makeup tutorials. See you later. Bye.